Natural Beauties, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a couple lipstick colors, my top five actually, that I think are perfect for women of the darker skin tone, black women, dark skin women, whatever the hell the macabre these days. I'm going to share with you guys a couple lip colors that look good on us, that make us look flaky. I'm uh, going to share a few lipstick hacks, a couple tricks that will help your lip um, application to be a lot more outstanding. Not all the colors that I use per se or the products that I use are actual lipsticks. They're not. Uh, about two of the five colors that I chose are lipsticks. The others are just lip pencils but I'm not talking about the products per se, I'm actually talking about the color. Right? So I'm also going to include for you guys a couple uh, dupes for any of these. I'm going to include an expensive version for my girls who like high-end makeup. And I'm also going to talk about a lower-end version or two because you you know, I like when I get a bargain for my money. So yeah, I'm definitely going to share a high-end and a low-end uh, option to each color. You can click right here right now actually to watch my last tutorial to see how I get that makeup look. I think I have a purple lip on in that video. Don't forget subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking right here or just clicking the subscribe button right below this video if you're on YouTube right now. Don't forget to tune in for another video. Uh, watch all my other videos and everything like that. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Alright, until next time, stay naturally beautiful. Bye! Before I begin, let me encourage you guys to come on over to my Instagram. Um, I normally post stuff that I don't post on YouTube. I post it on my Instagram. Um, just regular day-to-day -day stuff that, you know, you can keep up with me, see what I'm doing. I do like short uh, tutorials on there and I also do makeovers on my clients because you guys know I'm a makeup artist. So I do like befores and afters and also motivational quotes. So come on over and be a part of my Instagram family. Before applying any lip color, especially if it is a matte lip, you want to condition and moisturize. I like to use my Blistex Lip Medics to do this. It really leaves your lips nice and soft. The first color that I'm going to be using is actually a trendy color right now. It is a matte brown and I'm using Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC. I'm lining and filling in my lips with this color. People tend to run away from trendy colors but right now I am absolutely loving this one. Especially if you have brown eyes, it really just brings out your eyes perfectly. It's very subtle but at the same time it makes a really bold statement. Some of my favorite browns right now include Chocolate Wasted by Dose of Colors as well as Jordana Cosmetics Matte Roma Lipstick and you can also try Stone by MAC. When removing your lip makeup, it's really important that you use a makeup remover. This one is the Eye and Lip Makeup Remover from BH Cosmetics. What this does is make it 10 times easier to remove the color and the product without damaging your lips. Also always ensure that your lips are dry before you apply your lip colors. This allows your color to pay off a whole lot more as well. The next color that I'm going for is a matte orange. It's kind of neon. This right here is definitely a color that um, darker skin tone persons tend to run away from because it's kind of difficult to pull off. Um, it's not really easy to find an orange that doesn't look too orange on a darker skin tone but at the same time i love the way it complements the undertones in our complexion and it really just brings out the warmth of our skin if you're afraid if you have bigger lips you can go ahead and just line your lips with a lip liner you can use either a same orange liner or probably a brown liner if you will and it will still look just as gorgeous some of the oranges that I love include So Chad Lipstick from MAC Cosmetics or Milani Cosmetics Matte Passion it's their number 66 lip color The next color I'm going to apply, I'm going to put some powder on. You can put some powder on your lips to make any lipstick matte. You can either put the powder on before or after, but don't be crazy like me. Dust it off after you're finished because I so didn't remember that I had powder on my lips, guys. You can go ahead and put a powder on first. This color is a pink, <laughs> another color that dark skin persons run away from because it's kind of difficult to pull off if you don't get the right one. Say what you want, but pink lips never get old to me. It's a very girly color. It's very flirty and it's just very feminine. I would recommend that the darker you are, you try something that is more plum. 
or on the pinky plummy side instead of ashy pink because it will definitely complement your skin tone a whole lot better some of the gorgeous pinks are Colourpop's highball it's a very nice pigmented matte pink as well as poppy pink if you're looking for something more low-end from Jordana cosmetics for my next color, this is absolutely my favorite. I think it is the most outstanding to me um, and it also never gets old and that of course is a matte red lip. People always say, oh god, I'm gonna like wear um, red lipstick. Red lipstick not fit me, which is such a lie. I love the way red lips look on darker skin tones because it's just a very classic color. You can make it glammed up or you can make it an everyday color if you want. You can also apply a little bit of bronzer to your cupid's bow just to accentuate the shapes of your lips and it really makes your lips pop up and if you have fuller lips and you want to also tone that down you can also apply a lip liner to your lipstick and this will create a ombre effect and it will still look very outstanding on you I love the fact that red lipsticks make your teeth appear a whole lot whiter when you smile um, I love Ruby Woo which is a classic red and you can try Rich Ruby from Maybelline Now the last color that I'm going for is not my least favorite but it's also a very outstanding color and it's a deep purple. I'm taking this NK Cosmetics lip liner in dark purple and I'm just lining and filling in with that. You have different kind of purple lipsticks out there but it's a very dramatic color. It's not something that is like an everyday wear type of color but it's a very very gorgeous on darker skin tones. Some of the gorgeous purples that I love include Cyber from MAC, LA Girls Black Current, as well as um, Matte Fearless from Milani Cosmetics. I did record this hair tutorial if you guys want to see you know what to do. Thumbs up the video let me know if I should post it. Comment below let me know what you guys want to see next and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye!